I'm Evan Almighty, former starting point guard for The Ohio State University, and this is my story. Growing up, basketball was my first love. All I cared about was basketball. I would sleep basketball, I would eat basketball, I would breathe basketball. There was nothing else that concerned me. I didn't have many friends growing up. All I really cared about was basketball. I made some friends as I was shooting around by myself at the courts when no one else was there. But I only had one dream. I had a dream to make it to the NBA. I wanted, I wanted to become something big, something great. You know, I came from a rough neighborhood, but that wasn't gonna hold me back. I had much more in store. I had much more. I could believe in myself. I was the only person that could believe in myself. No one else did. You know, I was able to, you know, have a mentor, someone to mentor. That was Antoine Jameson. Grew up in my neighborhood, had a similar upbringing. He was able to help me out. And by the time I had reached college, I was able to beat him in the game of 21. When I told the kids in my neighborhood, when I told, you know, the kids that I went to school with that I was going to play in the NBA, they would laugh, make fun of me, and, and just make jokes about it. And it wasn't just my friends that I went to school with, the p kids in my neighborhood that made fun of me. My own father made fun of me. I had a very abusive father. You know, some days it, w it was really, really rough to even wake up in the morning. I wouldn't want to wake up. My senior year of high school, my mother made the best decision of her life to divorce my father. My mom was probably the most influential person in my life. And, you know, she did motivate me, you know, and did listen to me when I told her my dream. But even she doubted me. She didn't think I could do it. I had to prove her wrong. Even though she would motivate me to do my best at everything I did, I still had to prove her wrong because she didn't believe I could even make it into the NBA. Some more big news came my senior year of high school. I had earned a full ride scholarship to play point guard at the Ohio State University. This is probably the best thing that had ever happened to me and was one step closer to making it into the NBA. Well, my stay at the Ohio University was worth it. My freshman year, I was among the top five in the nation in scoring and led the nation in assists. And I had an opportunity to play in the NBA. After my freshman year at the Ohio State University, I informed the players and coaches that I was going to take my talents into the NBA. I didn't want to leave the team behind, but I couldn't risk injury and my mom was in some major financial trouble at home. I knew once I signed that rookie contract, I could get my mom the help that she deserves. And my dad, well he's on his own. If he didn't want to support me growing up when times were bad, he's not going to try to be with me when times are good. All he'd be trying to get out of me is some little extra pocket change, and that is not going to happen. Ohio State granted me 24-7 access to their gym. I couldn't believe it. I spent countless hours in the gym trying to craft my game to be able to play at the NBA level. I had to give myself an opportunity and prove the scouts that I was able to play in this league. From shooting around in the backyard to playing the local neighborhood kids on the blacktop, to playing for the Ohio State University on an actual court. My motto always was, you may be faster than me, you may be stronger than me, and you may be more skilled than me, but you will not work harder than me, and you will not have more heart than me. For every opportunity I got, I was gonna give it my all. And every day, I was gonna live it to the fullest. Because it could be your last play, or it could be your last breath. You never know, so always give 110% effort 
in everything you do. That's what I do. And look, now I might get an opportunity to play in the NBA. It's a dream come true. The day I had been waiting for my whole life was finally here. I got to sit down with a couple NBA teams after I had finished the rookie showcase with 18 points and 10 assists. The first team I sat down with was the Phoenix Suns. I was really impressed with their thoughts on me and the direction they were going with their franchise, and I would be pleased to get an opportunity to play with them. The next team I got the opportunity to sit down with was the New Orleans Hornets. This was a young squad I would love to go to and I think I would fit right in. They've got a lot of early draft picks and I hope I would fall to them in one of those. We'll have to see. The last team I interviewed with were the 76ers. This was the team I really wanted to go to. I had always liked the 76ers and I liked the skill players they have. I think I fit in right there and be able to sit as a backup and work my way into a starting position. And in no time, the NBA draft was finally here. The moment I had been waiting for my whole life. I never thought my dream would come true, but it did. I'm projected to go 13th to the Phoenix Suns. I dreamed of playing in the NBA, but never, ever did I think I would be able to fall into the first round. I was just hoping that would actually happen. You know, projections can be wrong. As I was sitting waiting to get drafted, I was thrilled to see all my friends I had made from the Rookie Showcase getting drafted this early. They definitely deserve it. They're hard workers, and boy are they great basketball players. Some of the best I've ever seen. They definitely deserve to get a chance in this league. As we got closer and closer to the spot I was projected to go in the draft, I got more and more nervous. This was a dream I've been waiting for. The wait seemed like it was forever. Minutes seemed like hours. Come 13th pick, the Phoenix Suns decided to pass me up. But I was still going to remain calm. I knew one team in the draft would want me, and I was going to accept any opportunity that I could get. And with the 15th pick in the NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers decided to grab me. I had never been more happy in my life. Philadelphia was my new home. I had planned to move my mom in with me and take care of her because she was first. And before I knew it, I had already gotten a contract with Jordan and I got to create my own shoe. Every morning I would wake up and think it was just a dream until I looked down and saw that I was wearing those custom Jordans I made. I knew it was real life and I knew I had to make the most out of my opportunity to play in the NBA. I wasn't going to let the 76ers organization or the 76ers fans down. And most of all, I wanted to be a role model to all the young Philadelphia kids out there. I had a rough childhood growing up. I want to show them that you can look past that. No matter what upbringing you have you can still become successful. And I want to spread that to all the kids out there, and not just the kids that are 76ers fans, but any kid that needed a role model, that needed someone to look up to. But if I wanted to be a role model, I had to act like one. I had to make the best decisions possible, not only on the court, but off the court as well. Cause they're gonna be looking at every action I do. And I need to make sure every single one is the best possible decision I can make. And I knew at the end of the day, it was finally my time to shine. My time to play in the NBA.